Come on, baby. Come on. Odell Tant's day on his Zebulon farm starts at 6 in the morning and often ends after 7 at night. On a 100-acre farm with 125 head of Hertford cows and 6 miles of fencing to maintain, Tant dismisses the many broken ribs he's suffered over the years as just coming with the territory until twice broken ribs within a recent three-month period sent him to his doctor. And about three days later, he calls me and says, uh, I don't like the way the x-rays look. So I see some lymph nodes that are a little bit larger than they should be. CT scans could not clarify the problem. He said, I'm going to send you to see Dr. Um, Patel. Go ahead and magnify. Dr. Rig Patel leads the endoscopic ultrasound, or EUS, team at Rex Hospital. Without EUS, Tant faced limited options. So his, one of his options would have been to have open surgery. That would be to open up his chest, to go in there and get some tissue. That would mean he'd have to be hospitalized, longer procedure. Operation like that, you know, it would take six, eight weeks to get over it. Time he couldn't afford away from the pasture. I'm the type of person, I don't like to prolong things. I like to go ahead and find out what the facts are. I was ready to find out, you know, what was really wrong or if there was anything wrong. And the best part is the patients wake up straight after the procedure and go home. There's no surgery involved at all. He said, I'll let you know before you leave here, I'll, you know, preliminaries. With EUS, Dr. Patel goes in for a view. We can use the human body, and specifically the intestinal tract, almost like a submarine to the inner parts of the body. There's an ultrasound modality that lets you look through walls. So it's, you, go, you can go into someone's stomach and look at the inside lining in the usual way, but now we can look into the wall of the stomach, through the wall of the stomach, and actually look at organs around the stomach. So we know we're right behind the heart. We're looking through the wall of the esophagus. We're looking at the heart pumping. Now what we're doing here is we're looking through the back of the stomach to look for lymph glands that can occur at the back of the stomach uh, when a cancer is trying to spread. EUS allows Dr. Patel to put a needle in the lymph glands for a biopsy. Go ahead and give me the needle. And there's the needle starting to come out. You can see it moving. And I'm just moving it to make sure we don't go too far into the heart. And we're in the right position to go into that little lymph gland. And it's a very small needle. And the best part is we can see where this needle is going by the millimeter. We are totally observing when it goes through the wall of the stomach or the esophagus, we can see, we can avoid blood vessels, we can avoid, you know, major organs. I asked him about the, the nerves and the blood vessels. He said, well, with the instruments I have, I'm going to be able just to see all that. And I can take that needle and go between this. I said, I won't even be touching them. And there we are into the lymph gland. Needle out, think. And you can see the needle moving. We're trying to suck up some cells sample and you can see we're only centimeters from the back of the heart we take out a few of those cells we put them on a slide and here in the room the pathologists are looking at that slide while we are doing the procedure pathologist dr. Keith Nance and his pathology team prepare the slides and give the cells close scrutiny he told me beforehand he'd have the you know pathologist in the in the operating room with him and he would be able to give me some results uh, when he came out of the uh, when I came out Painless, no surgery, and often immediate results. Dr. Patel came back in and um, told me the results. The best part, we were able to give him a specific diagnosis, fortunately benign disease, which was just inflammation, and he was back, back home and back to normal the following morning. No, it wasn't cancer. That was wonderful. That was the main thing. Putting Tant right back where he wanted to be the very next day.